Yo, how are you guys? Today we'll be back in a new video in this channel. Uh, I'm Notizade and we back in a tutorial for a tunnel, for a tunnel transition. Um, it's pretty good if you make it right and uh, you could make a lot of things with it. I will uh, leave a example, an example in the beginning of the video to, sh to show you what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, it's pretty simple if you focus with me and uh, it's very um, simple, yeah, <laughs> and easy, yeah. So, um, before we uh, start, please uh, check my uh, accounts. Instagram and my personal Instagram and TikTok and yeah only so if you wanna see my edits or anything else or contact with me uh, you could uh, go to Instagram yeah so let's start so uh, open After Effect and make a new composition from here and make it 720 with 720 and okay okay so here we were gonna do is uh add your photo like that then scale it to fit in the uh uh composition position it and yeah we compose it then from here add motion like that make it 400 with 400 like that so when you when you scale it down you will see that there is uh, a um, another photos of your picture like that and if you scale it down more you will see uh, another and another so uh, Scale it to um, 37, I guess. Yeah, to show you um, these uh, nine pictures. Then, when you do that, uh, pre compose it once more. Then, go to this option. I don't know what it's called, uh, but make it uh, like that rectangle uh, yeah so uh okay there is something yeah there's a little bit uh space in, in here so fix that like that or we can scale it yeah and yeah Okay, now we back here and the problem is gone. So um, now, uh, when you when you make it like that, go to rectangle tool and make it a uh, triangle or, or I don't know. Okay, uh, press Shift to make a perfect one like that. No, 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 no. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Uh, shift. Yeah, like that. Then invert it to look like that. Now, uh, when you done that, duplicate it. One, two, three, four. I will make five. So, uh, two, four, five. Okay. Then enable uh, the 3D element like that. And you, uh, it's important to enable motion blur in your composition. It will make it more better and better to see. So enable it. Okay. Now, when you done that and you um, make the 3D element, now go to active camera and make it left like that. It will show like that. So with the first one, make it little space between one and two then okay i will make it um uh, in from one to five like that so one 
One minute. Two. Three. And four. And the last one will be five. When you go to active camera, you will see this. So, uh, what we're gonna do is make a um, null object and enable both of these 3D element and motion blur. Then, select all of all of your um, pre combos or all your clips and attach your clips to null like that. So, when you do done of that, when you go to null and scale it down, all of your clips will um, move like that. So, uh, scale it down to show you all of these and then go to your first layer, these, and go to um, uh, press R to go to rotation, zero rotation, and make it 12. Okay, then on your second one, make it negative 12. And uh, all of that will be like that. And I'm very sorry for my bad language. Uh, um, I'm very sorry. I will be better in the future, I hope. So when you're done with that, uh, close it. So you will have these, um, yeah, you will have these. So uh, if you if you wanna uh, make a um, uh, white lines between all of these, go to your uh, go go to any photo or, or recompose and go to your um, uh, original photo and recompose it. Then add a solid, a white one, or whatever you want. Then uh, go to solid and drop it down. Then well, uh, in the photo or pre-compose, scale it down a little bit, like that. Then go back to comp. You'll see it will be like this. Okay, then go to any of these and make or add drop shadow like that drop shadow and add it here then these make it zero and this for 100 this 200 no 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 no, no see this 200 and yeah only pretty simple then copy it and add it to all the layers to look like this so when you don't of the don of these okay uh, go and add your photo the original one okay and drop it down here we will scale it first yeah then recompose it then drop it down and enable this and attach it to null okay then okay we have to scale it down okay 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 we're done on uh, only thing you gonna do is uh, makes a transition and everything okay go to null and scale it up okay so we have a problem here and we're gonna fix it with two solutions you can choose one of them the first one is add motion tile okay when you add motion tile to this picture then make mirror and like that it will be like this the second one 
that I will prefer is Kaled up like that. It's much better, I think. So uh, now we have to make the transitions. It's pretty simple, and it's, anyone will learn it and make it. Yeah. So um, uh, we first add the timeline or keyframe. I don't know what it's called. Then um, one minute. Okay, and here like that and scale it down to like this yeah it will be like this okay it's pretty bad because we don't make the graph so select the keyframes and press f9 or we can go here assistant Keyframe assistant, or, or I don't know, and easy aids. Okay, then go here to uh, graph and make this graph. It's very easy to do, but it's very good, at least on this um, transition. Yeah, like that be like this then what we have to do is uh, make the rotation okay in here I guess yeah Ma press R to rotation then make a keyframe U to see uh, all the keyframes then go here and make it um, uh, like that it will be enough then select the keyframes f9 or easy ace whatever you want yeah 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 i think yeah yeah it's much better or you could use your own a graph to this but I would love this I guess yeah okay so this is our um, tutorial to, for today um, I'm sorry for my bad language and it's my first tutorial so I'm a little nervous so Please leave a like and uh, tell me in the comments what shall I do in the next video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.